Well, there's a whole bunch of snow on the ground. Let's build a greenhouse. Whoa, let's just put that back on first of all. We are embarking on, coming down on my level. <laughs> <laughs> we are embarking on a really fun project that we are excited to share with you guys. What are we doing? Oh, we're building a greenhouse. We are building a greenhouse. So we have all the windows that came out of the cabin and we are going to put those to good use and we are going to build a legit gorgeous greenhouse and I am beyond excited because I did not think we were going to do that this year. What are you doing? Oh, rethinking that decision. He's, <laughs> I don't think that branch is going to hold you. Oh my goodness. we got another one. Wild men today. Goodness. These gingers are out of control. <laughs> he climbs like such a spaz. It's a good thing he can't understand what we're saying. Uh, are you stuck? He's like, I got a branch up my butt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> every time, Jasper, every time you go that high. Oh, you did it. And there's Sala back there. You guys don't see Sala super often. She's a little crazy. She's also deaf. So that makes a difference. <laughs> She's getting old. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to take stock of what we have for windows. Um, we have a bunch of aluminum windows. And then we have uh, some of the really old wood framed um, windows that came out of the cabin also. So we're going to... Figure out what we have, the sizes. I'm going to go back inside because it's freezing out here, and I'm gonna work, <laughs> I'm gonna work on um, figuring out the layout for where we want the windows while Robert is working on pad prep for the greenhouse. So he's working on doing some leveling. So we'll come back together once we both figure out what we're doing and uh, see what we're gonna build.
we are getting kind of a wintry mix today. Some snow, some rain, back and forth. So we'll, we'll see what that does. Um, I'm going to start putting on windows today in the greenhouse. So just kind of bringing them down, setting them up. We have a rough idea where they'll land based off our layout. Until we actually bring them down and, and kind of fit them in place, then we'll, we'll see a little better what we're dealing with. So I'm going to start bringing those down and uh, see what we got. So why in the world are we building a greenhouse in the snow? We have a little shorter growing season than uh, some other places. So uh, we're looking to extend uh, our reach and getting plants in, getting them started and uh, being able to have a, a high yield of produce in our garden. So this is a, a way for us to uh, kind of get ahead of the curve, get stuff started, ready to go by the time the snow stops flying and we get past our last frost date. Dee Dee's wanting to start some seeds pretty quick. So uh, I guess we better get on it. Been working on curtains for the bedroom uh so i got these panels at walmart but i didn't really like them as is so i took off the like big ring things that are on the top i can't remember what those are called um anyway the rings that are set in for it to go on the rod i took those off and just did like a simple hem on the top and then on the bottom i did this because i like uh vintage linens um and i like how a lot of them have like crocheted edge so what I did is along the bottom I put a crocheted lace just a really light kind of delicate but not like too frilly um, just to kind of give it just a little bit prettier edge on the bottom so I'm gonna do up the rest of the panels since I put it up and I like the way it looked that looks great thank you you guys helping oh traffic jam hey buddy you guys helping? <laughs> I think you're not helping. <laughs> Hey, why not? Let's add some hail to the, the weather we've been having.
semi-professional amateur tip of the day. Don't leave your Milwaukee battery charger in the rain because it doesn't like it. Forgot my uh, charger was plugged in out in the pouring rain and uh, ended up frying it. So next thing you know, had to go and get a new battery charger and a new tool. You know, it happens. Anyhow, don't leave your uh, charger out in the pouring rain. Well, I've been looking to replace my uh, DeWalt little cutoff saw that I've had for forever. I think I just found it. All right, we are hanging some rafters, just using two by four on edge, and that's plenty sufficient for what we have. It's just gonna be some plastic roofing on top, no weight at all to it. Um, even with a two foot of snow load, uh, this thing ain't going anywhere, so. Um, if I was building an actual roof and had an eight foot span, I'd probably use a two by six. Um, but for what we're doing, this is, this is plenty sufficient. Sometimes I see people take a two by four and they'll run a roofing support on edge. Um, not a good idea. Those will definitely sag over time. In fact, if you've ever driven down a neighborhood and you, and you look at a wood fence and it's doing this between all the panels, that's because somebody ran the supports flat rather than with the strength of a two by four. What where you get your supporting strength is how how thick it is this way. So you can have a two by twelve that can support a ton of weight. Um, probably more so than a twelve by twelve because you have the weight of itself holding it up. So um, you gain the strength vertically uh, but not necessarily horizontally. Alright I'm gonna work on finishing these guys up get ready for a roof. Some roofing material. It's been raining, but Dee Dee found a break in the rain a couple days ago and went ahead and painted the top white. Um, the greenhouse will actually be a white house, <laughs> um, but uh, I was gonna slap this roofing on, and then I realized, well, we're gonna paint it, and we're just gonna see the wood underneath it. It's gonna look weird, so uh, we went ahead and painted the top uh, before slapping these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these situated and uh, start screwing them down. I said, ask me how fun it was trying to paint the top of that while trying to keep two gingers off of it. <laughs> yeah. Loads of fun. It's hard to chase a cat away when you're on a ladder and they're on a roof. All right, so we put in a vent right there, an automatic vent. So in the summertime when it gets really hot, that vent will kick on and, and open up. And then all of the like windows actually open and stuff too. So I don't see airflow being a problem, um, but we wanted to have that too, just in case. He's everywhere. I, I think there's actually like 13 of him because everywhere I turn, there's a an orange cat. Anyway, we wanted to have that uh, on there just in case like, for some reason I forgot to open the windows or they got closed and we weren't home, then that would automatically kick open. Um, it will not stay 
that really bright shiny blue color because that is um, just the protective film so we'll get that pulled off and then it'll just be silver or I can paint it white too so I think it'll kind of blend in it won't be bright blue like that but it'll definitely be nice when it is super hot outside hi buddy what are you doing huh did you come up here to see me you came up here to see me too Alright, we have roofing material on, which is awesome. I am cutting some plexiglass and filling in the angles here. And then I had one weird spot above the door with some plexiglass. So once I finish in these two little spots here, we're going to be roughed in and uh, ready to start doing stuff inside. So we like the look of these, we're purposely long. I think those will look pretty good with some hanging baskets though. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. The greenhouse structure is all there. Got a lot of cleanup to do. We're going to paint it white and get all the windows cleaned up, kind of pressure wash everything down, build some racks inside, and uh, just get everything ready to go. But uh, the structure's there, roof's on, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So we'll catch on the next one when we're working on that. Thanks guys.